Over 2,000 years ago, Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine. Modern science is just now starting to catch up. In fact, it was around 30 years ago that the idea of functional foods, that is using bioactive food components to help promote health and prevent or manage chronic disease, cemented itself as an important field in nutrition science. Now, with our population getting older and chronic lifestyle diseases becoming more and more common, functional foods are in high demand and this is a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide. So this modern idea of functional foods began in Japan, where they actually have one of the oldest living populations with relatively low levels of chronic disease. And the reason I bring this up is that the traditional Japanese diet actually provided us with many clues for discovering functional food components being investigated today. For example, the Japanese diet is particularly high in seaweed, and this is believed to be linked with their reduced risk of disease. Now it's not just as simple as going down to the sea, grabbing a few handfuls and protecting yourself against chronic disease, but we do know that seaweeds contain a number of potent biologically active compounds that act in certain ways in the body to help reduce disease risk. In particular, they contain polyphenols, a group of compounds produced as part of the plant's natural defense system. And these little guys might just be able to help prevent or manage some of our major health concerns, including cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. Now I know that sounds like a pretty big call, but let me tell you how. My PhD is focused on three risk factors, high blood sugar levels, high cholesterol levels, and chronic inflammation. These three risk factors are key contributors to both cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes and its complications. So I've seen through my literature reviews that when you give polyphenols from seaweeds to mice, this will reduce their blood sugar levels both before and after eating. It will reduce their cholesterol levels, in particular their LDL or bad cholesterol. And it will also reduce markers of inflammation. Now, this research is only just beginning to be transferred into humans, with initial results showing promise around reducing cholesterol and fasting blood sugar levels. I am currently conducting a number of clinical trials for the first time in Australia to find out whether consuming polyphenols from seaweeds will have these same effects in humans and help to reduce blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, and inflammation to ultimately reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. Thank you.